Hey everyone, it's Paige Evans, and I want to share this really cool technique that I found while playing in Silhouette Studio that my cameo can do, everybody's cameo can do, and it is to die cut your photos into whatever shape you may have in your library. So it saves a step and it's really cool. So in my library, I'm searching for mini album. I'm using this Lori Whitlock layered mini album. I love the pretty scallops. So it's going to add them all into your document, zooming out so you can see, size them to whatever size you want your finished mini album to be, right click and ungroup them so they become individual pages. And then I was going to print my photos and place them on the mat and have to cut them out individually, one by one, sizing them. So I was dragging and dropping and watch what happened as it quickly went over Silhouette Studio. That's how I discovered this. So I was like, what just happened? So I went back into Silhouette Studio and if you drag and drop any photo, maybe even patterns, I haven't tried it with a pattern yet. Um, look, it just goes right inside the shape. But, the, but what you need to do next is create a new document and we're going to do basically the print and cut feature. So whether you add your registration marks first or you change the size to eight and a half by 11, either one, you just need to make sure you have both, that the size of your document is eight and a half by 11 or whatever size your printer prints at and that it has the registration marks. So then, here I'm just changing the orientation from horizontal to vertical. Back in this, document that I was experimenting with, copying everything. So right click, copy, and then in the document I'm pasting. So you need to place all of your pages within the lines, so within the red lines, and then not overlapping any of the registration marks or that gray area. So on this document, I'm only able to fit two pages, or two, yeah, two scalloped pages. I probably could have fit more but just for this demonstration sake, I'm just doing two. And I'm yeah, gonna move these out of the way. I'm going to group them with the holes first. Those holes will die cut and that is how you assemble the mini album is with binder rings, just right through those holes. Somewhere along the way I lost my holes. But anyway, just make sure when you're placing these shapes and moving them around that they are grouped together. So you can rotate them, just try and fit them as best as you can. I'm sure this technique has an official name, but I haven't Googled it or done research. I just wanted to show you quickly how cool it is. Again, drag and drop and it is ready to go. The next step is to actually print it. So go up to file. Oh, I changed my mind. I want the flower page to be a little bit bigger. There we go. So easy peasy, drag and drop. I, I'm just amazed every time that it just fits right in there and it's ready to be cut. It's so cool. Well, you have to print it first. Okay, so now go to file, print, and it's going to Print it out. I just used, I use photo paper and print my pictures from home. And I will show you what this looks like once it is printed. Here it is. So now you need to place the printed document on the silhouette mat exactly how it looks in Silhouette Studio. So it was aligned on the top left corner. So I'm going to place the printed photos on the top left corner. Once you put it into your machine, go back and we're going to send it to Silhouette and it is going to cut out the photos into these shapes, saving me some steps of sizing the photos in Photoshop, placing them on the mat in the right area, um, adjust your cut settings to make sure you're cutting the right papers, using the right blades, etc. And then here it goes, it's reading the registration marks and then it's going to start cutting it out. So it just cut the holes for the binder rings and now it's cutting the pictures out. And I am just in awe, amazed. I think this is so cool and just stumbled upon it. Wanted to share this with you so you can try doing it too. Peeling it off the mat 
and these, my friends, are ready to go into the album. I actually did die cut some cardstock to glue onto the back of the photos to make them a little bit sturdier. And I'll have a flip through of this album in a diff different YouTube video in a little bit. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and see you again soon.